like Jesus said, I'm going to build up my church. Yes. He says, compel them to come. And it starts, hear me, with our circle of influence. Yes, sir. Man, you can't be ashamed and it starts at home. You gotta be bold. Let people know you're safe. Let people know you go to church. You know, come Sunday morning, don't go, don't come looking for me. You know I'm gonna be at. Yes, I'm gonna be worshiping my God. The 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 Lord of the Lord, the one who saved me, the one who need me, the one who I can call on. Because I tried to call on you that one day and you were nowhere to be found. Yes. The one who is forever faithful, a friend that sticks closer than a brother, that's who I'm serving. And the Bible says we have to have this attitude that I'm here to help God build his church. Yes, that Jesus has an agenda, he does have an agenda, and it's here in this passage. I want to build my church. I want the body of Christ to become stronger, not weaker. Yes, sir. I want dying men and women to know what they need to do to be saved. I want more people a part of my universal church. I also want people to be a part of a local church. And again, many about people who are here, but even those listening online, if you don't have a church, if you're a believer, if you're saved, been saved any length of time, and you don't have a church home, shame on you. You should know better. Yes. Shame on you. Yes. Which brings me to my final point, is that 